been playing Dragon Champions because there's been some exodus over at Galaxy of Heroes and a bunch of content creators over there got me involved with Dragon Champions and uh, the hope that I have for this uh, Dragon Champion is that the game becomes very successful and developers learn that you just can't gouge your player base indefinitely. I mean, it has to be a partnership. They have to build some community, and I'm disgusted uh, with Galaxy of Heroes right now. I, I mean, it's a fun game, it's a good game, but as far as the development team, it's terrible. And as far as Marvel Strike Force goes, you know, I've been largely happy with the development team over there, with the exception of um, Red Stars. I still can't get over Red Stars and how much I have. So, uh, there's a link down in the description if you want to play this game, come check it out. Uh, it does help support this channel. I've been enjoying it. It's basically the same thing as Galaxy of Heroes and uh, Marvel Strike Force, but it's with like a World of Warcraft type style and, and pandas. So it's a little bit more cartoony uh, and it's gonna have, I don't know how to, sorry, I mean, and I like that. I mean, I'm going to BlizzCon next week. Uh, so I don't have a problem. Some people don't like it, but it's a small independent studio and the packs are cheap. Uh, yeah, like you can get like a character like Freezard for like three bucks and on my other channel, link up here, I spent a hundred dollars and I got like so many characters unlocked. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna play in a specific mode today and I'm just gonna go through it because this is a mode that is not in uh, Marvel Strike Force. It's a mode that was in Galaxy of Heroes and it's uh, kind of been phased out a little bit because after you complete it for 150 times, you can auto play it, uh, but it's a tower. And so their main tower, you work up, just go straight to the top. And I've been able to clear it two times. I was not able to clear it yesterday. And then there's these little branches that are faction specific. So uh, I'm gonna go into the tower and I'm just gonna try to go up as high as possible. And I'm gonna use uh, a panda team that is uh, healing heavy uh, with, uh, with the best healer in the game, Zentara. And then I'm gonna take in the combo of Kara and Venomate and uh, then also because of the panda uh, leader here, ally healing spells apply shield because uh, this particular mode is like a raid in Marvel Strike Force. I mean, it's um, it escalates in difficulty as you get towards the top and then eventually you just run out of teams and you can't finish and that's okay. It's okay if you can't finish. Uh, so initially, uh, I'm in here at the early stages, and actually, uh, the first couple stages I probably can just put on autoplay because the team that I've made here uh, has a lot of sustain. Uh, so this is very different than what I will do in uh, in the arena or something like that. Now, uh, they are coming out with a tournament system. They just announced that yesterday. I want to see how that plays. And then here in, uh, in about a week or two, they're going to have their first legendary event, which requires orcs. Uh, the next match, I will play with orcs. In fact, right now, I'm at level 44. Uh, I've been spending money on this game because I've been enjoying it. And it's just not that expensive. It's just like... <laughs> you know, $100 in red stars versus 100 stars in this is like... 20 times the value. And I think it's just because they're small and um, they don't have to pay licensing fees to Marvel. Uh, come check it out. Um, it may not be for you. I like it. I've been having fun. I'm probably gonna have to make a third channel though because I don't think, um, well, I've been putting them up on Galaxy of Heroes. I made a bunch of videos on my main channel, my mobile gamer. For those of you who don't know, uh, I originally, I'm known as Mobile Gamer. A lot of people here know me as OMG or Trevor. Uh, but the reason why I'm known as Mobile Gamer is that uh, OMG is actually my little channel. I, I, I made that channel uh, because I was making videos for Marvel Strike Force on my main channel, um, Mobile Gamer, which is a channel with, I don't know, probably 130,000 subscribers. Uh, that's my main channel. So this is my orc team. And so I made the OMG channel because uh, a lot of people over there didn't like uh, they didn't want to, they didn't want to mix, you know, they didn't like, um, Marvel Strike Force. And so I made a second channel, OMG, and I put all of my Marvel Strike Force stuff over here to keep it kind of separate. And I I've been playing Dragon Champions a ton, and I've been making a bunch of videos over there. And, uh, even though a large percentage of the people that play this game here are from, um, they're, and frankly, the whole community base is like Galaxy of Heroes players because they're so mad at the game. They've all come over here. Um, and there's a lot of uh, Marvel Strike Force guys, too. 
Uh, I know Valley's been over here, Chewburger, I think Dorian Blade, a lot of people. Um, we're just checking it out. Um, I don't know if this will be my main game or anything, but I'm definitely playing it right now and having fun. Um, I'm also very skeptical of, um, <laughs> of all mobile games. And I, I kind of feel like I'm in a honeymoon phase where I'm having fun and it's exciting because there, there's so much stuff to do. So um, this is my orc team. I'm not really explaining what's going on. <laughs> because I'm just going through it. Okay, AOE spin right here. Uh, but come check it out. Uh, if you like it, cool. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, I didn't need the heal. That was a waste. Oh, this is my favorite tank right here, Tromgar. Oh my god, he can, uh, he's got a, so he's taunting right now, and they have to attack him. And he's got a counterattack up, and then when he counterattacks, he has a chance to do a stun. Well, they're not attacking, is it? Because I got better, uh... Uh, runes on them. Oh, that's the other thing, too. Uh, this game has runes in them, or ISO 8, or mods, or whatever you want to call it. And, um, I know a lot of people are having anxiety about it because of the bad things they've heard about with Galaxy of Heroes. It's not terrible! They, they, they scaled back the importance of speed, and, um, it's fine. Uh, like, I haven't had a problem with the runes, so... Uh, I know a lot of uh, ISO 8 is going to be coming out for Marvel Strike Force soon, and people are going to be freaking out over that. And they're not going to even put speed in them. And so it's like, I don't know if it's going to be a big deal at all. Uh, it seems to me that people hate change for the sake of change. Uh, but, you know, jury's out. Of course, when I see it and I play it, uh, then I'll decide whether or not I like the ISO 8 thing. But, uh, you know, it's just so negative. Um, about any kind of change into any game, and yet I'm playing this game here, and it has uh, runes or ISO 8 or something like mods in Galaxy of Heroes, and they scaled back uh, the speed aspect, and it's not terrible. So, okay, so this is my uh, my heavy sustain team. So I'm just gonna go through this, and we're gonna do a bunch. Of, okay, I'm gonna taunt right here. He's got a really cool taunt right there because he has a 30% dodge. And uh, having to attack a, a tank that has a dodge is fantastic. Uh, her basic attack will heal the lowest health ally. Then she has like a siphon ability where she sacrificed some of her own health to heal the whole team. And then her ultimate uh, heals herself up. So best healer in the game, Zentara Panda. He can, uh, when he attacks, he does some. Now, this is cool too. I can give... Uh, cr counter attack to my taunting tank, and so now not only do they have a chance to dodge, but he will um, counter attack. And this is probably the best ability in the game. Everybody goes stealth except for the tanks, and they get counter attack. <laughs> it's almost broken. <laughs> that is the easily the best ability I've seen in this game so far. Uh, that is a pretty clever mechanic. Uh, it makes her probably the best character, in my opinion. Plus, she gives turn meter and some other bonuses uh, when they go into stealth. And in this game here, when is a, a character is stealth, uh, you can't counterattack. So, like, if their team was stealth and they attacked into him, he can't counterattack. And that's actually uh, different than the way it works in Marvel Strike Force, but it is the way that it works in Galaxy of Heroes. Okay, so we can give tons of shield. Um, they have, like, barrier built into this game, uh, kind of like shield, so every character does have, like, a barrier mechanic. Alright, we're just gonna keep doing basic attacks here. Um, we're not having a hard time. Let's taunt and get that dodge up over there. And this will give, uh, armor increase. And armor increase is pretty good, 50%, uh, armor. You know, it's like defense up. Uh, I can still probably do basics with her. Alright. Okay, now we're gonna have to attack into this guy taunting over here. Uh, he's got armor. Uh, that's actually a pretty good uh, thing right there. All right, what's uh, what's uh, I could probably save that for the next round because uh, we're gonna have to go through round to round. So I'm kind of sandbagging abilities at this point uh, because um, uh, yeah, why don't we put the counter attack on him? That's always fun when they have to attack into. It. I can save that for the next round. The 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 stealth mode. We got Daze over there, uh, which, uh, <laughs> that's very good. 
Uh, with a daze, make a can't land critical hits, counterattack, assists, or gain turn gauge bonuses. And that's uh, daze. That's a, a direct copy from a mechanic in Galaxy of Heroes. And so I, I, I'm curious. Put it down in the comment section uh, if you play uh, Marvel Strike Force only. If you play uh, Galaxy of Heroes only. Uh, if you play both. If you play Dragon Champions already, I'm just curious, uh, you know, of the people on this channel, what they watch, um, because I don't know what to do with this game. Like, I, I want to, I like playing it, and I've been playing it every day, and I've been having a lot of fun, uh, but as far as uh, putting it on YouTube, I think I'm going to have to make a third channel. No, we have two more stages, so here's the thing, is I'm going to attack with this team one more time, but if it falls apart, I'll back out, and I'll split it into two teams. Uh, but if I can beat this with this team here, uh, then I could probably take the last stage into two pieces. And I think that's the only way to beat this. Because uh, I do have like three small teams. Okay, so what do we have here? Dude, if I can get through her before Tromgar taunts, um, she's going to bring out the bear. But let's see if I can get as much damage over here as possible. Yeah, this is always good. I I've got to do it. Oh, if I could have got a stun there. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we got the stun. Okay, so that that stun right there, which is like a 20% chance, probably uh, made this match possible. Um, I've got to get through her before he taunts. I, I, I gotta just, uh, because once she gets hidden back there behind, it's so hard to get to her, and then my, oh no, I'm not, I'm worried now. Okay, 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 now we can go back to like normal strategy. Oh my goodness, okay, um, heal up. Okay, we need, um, we need to go under taunt. Okay, and let's throw this on this panda here. We need to kind of re, get, you know, um, Oh man, we need to restore some of this team's, um, there we go, that's good. We need to play a little bit more conservatively. Oh, I need to heal up the team. I guess I just gotta do it. I'm really worried, please no AOE. Oh no, no, no. Okay, we have to armor up. Um, what's regenerate? Let him soak up as much as po- oh, there we go, stealth. All right, cool. Uh, no point in attacking into him, because he's got counterattack. All right, I got to do it. I've got stealth though. Uh, now we're after the stupid. Oh, we got the stun. All right, let's just attack him while we can. Hmm, back at you. Um, we got to put this on her. She's got to stay alive. I'm really worried about my team. I need a big heal here as soon as I can. Let's do it. We need a big heal here. Okay. Please survive. Uh, man, your health pool looks scary low. Oh, I like the stun. AoE. Um, hmm. There we go. That's a little bit. All right. We got armor up just in case. Oh, I'm so glad they didn't hit me. Oh, thank you. Stealth. Um, let's uh, get some regeneration going. I gotta put it on. I gotta, I gotta put it on her. I just, she can't die. That actually, probably that AOE would have ruined me right there. Am I forced after the bear? I am. Okay. All right, um, here we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. I think we got this. Uh, let's do it this way. We don't want to mess with any more bears. Cheat death. Um, how am I going to heal this team up? Oh, I'm not. Oh, I have to do it. This is so sketchy for the next round, though. Okay. 
so we're going into the last stage, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do this with three teams, and so um, because I'm at the end, so it's gonna be hard. So like this would be like my optimal team, but uh, I'm not gonna do that. Basically, I'm gonna take in my my hardest hitting team in first, which does not have the most sustain. So I'm gonna use all orcs, and um, hopefully. I can just clear through one of their one of their people. If I can get through one person on the other team, then I probably can go in with the team with more sustain, and then we'll take it from there. But if I can get through one person, um, he's going to be the taunter. All right, I know I know that she's just a straight damage dealer. Let's just go after her. Um, I'm going to save that, actually. It sounds really strange, but I kind of want to save the AoE just in case I get stuck. Being, he's going to taunt here soon. Come on. Oh, I lost somebody already. And he taunted already. I lost my... I lost my healer. Okay, come on, attack. Okay, we need a uh, re. Okay, I got a heal block. All right, we'll bring out our bear. Ouch, right? Okay, let's see if we can get through one. Oh, please, let me let me get through her. Let me get her. Let me get one hit on her. One big hit. Please be enough to take her out. Please be enough to take her out. Ah! Okay. Oh, you can see I'm wearing my valley shirt. Okay. Um Oh my goodness. Uh that prop that could that's possibly a mistake. But um so this team does not have the explosiveness, uh, but it does have AoE. And uh we're just going to try it. Uh we're going to do it. Um Oh my goodness. Uh <laughs> Ah Okay, um, see like like right here. Hopefully this is enough. Yes. Okay. Um, I think we got it. All right. Uh, taunt. If I can get through this tank here, oh, we got to do stealth. Basic. Okay. One down. All right, we're gonna put the heels back there. There we go. Okay. There we go. Oof, we, I think we got it. I think we've got it. I don't wanna call it. Um, so that's how you get through the tower. And then um, once you get through the tower a certain number of times, well, I don't wanna call it yet. My goodness, look at how close we are. We're, we're, we're attacking into counterattack. Oh my god. I might have to take a, a la another team in. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and look at those rewards. Okay. Uh, so that's how you beat the tower. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I've been enjoying this game. Like I said, there's a link down in the description. Um, I have been having a genuine good time with this game, and um, I like the cartoon World of Warcraft. Like I said, I'm going to BlizzCon next week, so uh, it does work for me, and plus I, the game is just for a reasonable play. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and keep on gaming. What the French toast? Did you think I wouldn't find out about your little doo-doo head cootie queen? Who are you calling a cootie queen, you lint licker? Pickle you, come cry!